So now in this video we'll talk about a pattern and this is what we need to draw here. Now we have already seen lots of patterns right now what is different in this? So till now we are working with stars, hash, dollars. Now this is the first time we are working with characters I guess. Now in this characters what we are want to print is we want to print in the first line we want to print Java. The second line will be ABA then we have VA and A. Now there are multiple ways of doing this right. So we'll be looking at the shortest way and the best way to do this. Now whenever you have, uh, let's say we, have, we are want to print a string, so we have a string variable which is s and the value of this s is let's say java, which is this keyword here. So we have a value as java, right? Now before starting with the actual code, let me just print something here. So I want to print only j. Now how to fetch j from the string is, we can simply say s dot. So there's a method called as char at in which you can pass the index as 0. So if you pass an index 0, you will get j. Because this char at function or char at method will fetch the character at the particular location. So when you say 0, it will fetch j. And if I run this code, we got j, right? If I mention it as not 0 but 1, and if I run this code, we got a right so that's how it works so we whenever you want to fetch a single character we use char at function now once we know about that now let's start with the implementation now before starting with this let's print java 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 we'll print all java here to do that since we have a tabular format we can use a for loop uh, we can use nested for loop okay so we can say i equal to one and then we can go for four and then i plus plus and inside this we have one more loop which will, will which will take care of the columns which is j here so i will say j equal to 1 and then j less than equal to 4 and j plus plus now in order to print this we can simply say sys out uh, without the ln part i will say print the print the character so i will say s dot char at j since j is j is counting the column right but the problem is your string starts, the index number of string starts with 0, right? So this is 0, j is 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3, right? So we cannot go till 4. So what we can do here, we can mention j minus 1, okay? And after every inner for loop, we'll sim simply print a new line. And in fact, we also need a space here so that we can see that j after j, we have a space here. And if I run this code, we got Java, 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 right? But we want, we don't want all Javas. What we want is we want some spaces initially and depend upon the number of columns, so number of rows. So for the first row, the, the, the printing should start with the first, first column itself. In the second row, the printing should start with the second column. And in the third, third row, the printing should start with the third column. So you, you can see a pattern there. So what we can do is, uh, before printing this thing, we can check if, if my j value is less than i, if that is a situation, I don't want to print the character. I will, I just want to print this space, okay? Else, I want to print the character. And if I run this code, that's it. We got the output, right? It's that simple. So if you're just checking the number of columns, so your, if your column number is less than your row number it should print space otherwise it should print the character it's that simple right so that's it that's it from this video so this is how we can print a java pattern uh, with the help of for loops so yeah thank you so much for watching